Really? What the hell? I build myself a completely underground base surrounded by all stone everywhere and you still find your way in. <sighs> Guess I'm going to have to find a way to get you out of here, aren't I? All right, come on. All right, you can start by gathering a few pebbles. Just like that. Now prepare for some sore fists. Now that my fists are adequately bruised and bloodied, let's make a little bit of cobblestone, eh? And you're going to make yourself one of these stone crafting tables, none of this fancy wood stuff. No. I guess you can come in. I'd say make yourself at home, but I don't want you to stay. I just want you to hurry up and get out, so that's why I'm showing you this stuff. All right? Make yourself a couple of poles. We need some more. All right, now that we've got an extra few blocks, you need two of them, all right? So you need four rods. You paying attention or what? I want you out of here quick, so you better be looking. All right, there you go. There's a hammer. Now, we don't need to punch with our fists anymore. We can smack this stuff away a lot quicker. All right? There we go. Oh, I suppose you want to, like, you know, get rewards for doing this stuff? Yay! Yay! All right, then. You've got a quest book. Just say hello to FTB. Stone block three. Yeah, that's what my world looks like. All right? I made a house right here in the middle. Right here in the middle. And you idiots found your way in somehow. Now I've got to get you all the way out. That's right. That's like 2,000 blocks out here. And then it just continues. It was a big spell, all right? So let's do that. We got the rock and stone. This is how you actually start. A few extra bits and pieces. You can make this your home if you want. That's nice and easy to do, but please, you know, if it's mine, don't. If it's yours, go for it. But all you got to do is set home, and we're home. All right? Nice and easy. Now, seeing as we made ourselves some stone, we get a reward. Hooray! Wow, that's actually really good. A Cobble Gen Tier 3. Huzzah! That, that's actually really going to come in very much handy. Um... We, we need our crafting table, so I'll just pick that back up. I'm not making another one. I haven't got all day. There we go. And we even get the hammer quest as well. So, crafting table. We get pff, a metal warning door. Wow. And we get a hammer. We get... Wow, that's actually pretty good too. Some improved pipes. <laughs> now, we've got to get some saplings, which means we need some dirt, which means we need some more cobblestone. All right, let's go get some more cobblestone. All right, now that I cleaned up a bit, because there's no point trying to hide it from you guys, I, uh, I'll i just put some cobblestone down, and then we smack it a few times. See? Now it's gravel, smaller bits. And then we need to do it again. And now it's dirt. Hurrah. And now I need a little bit more cobblestone, because we need another crook. All right, to get a crook, you just need four stone rods. There you go. Boom. Then you get your crook, all right? And then you go and smack the dirt. So let's try... Uh, let's try 10, leave us five. So what do we get? Lots of trees. Did we get some oak? They're easy to grow. Yeah, we got some oak. All right, we got trees. Let's make them grow. Yay. And let's get some wood. Huzzah. And we get lots of quests. So, a bit of gravel, we get some more gravel. A bit of dirt, we get some more dirt. Hurrah. Now, we've got our crook, so we get a hovering hourglass. Lovely. That'll come in handy for automating Britannia later, just to help you get out of here. We got seeds. We get a whole heap of seeds. Nice. Grow some more food, because I'm going to be stuck in here a while and got guests. Lapis Paxel. It's actually pretty good. And we get wood, so we get to choose. So I'm just going to take more oak. We'll grow some other trees later on. So let's go and get ourselves a drawer to hide all this stuff in. So we need another... There we go. We need eight of them. Go like that. And then chuck a chest in the middle. And we get a drawer. Now, if we chuck this on top of the cobblestone... There we go. Look at that. We've already got a heap of cobblestone. All right, now we got some andesite. 
that'll help with the quest because we kind of need some andesite for making the create stuff all right mr b what do you want how deep are you eh, not too far away let's see what rewards you've got to offer they occasionally come around to say hi what you said you had something for me well spit it out what are you dropping it thanks but why over there <sighs> Good thing is, is they drop eggs and we'll need those later on. All right, what's next? Wants us to make, oh, oh man. Make one of these things, a millstone. Means we need two bits of polished andesite, some cobblestone, maybe. No, normal stone. And then a bit of wood with that. That's, oh, yay, a millstone. Now, what else did it want? The hand crank. There we go, so I need another polished andesite, three bits of wood and a stone rod. There's our hand crank. Let's get a few more bits of this, and then I'm going to turn that into a large cog. Turn that bad boy. Yeah, water wheel. I'm going to chuck a water mill down here, and what do we get for this? Andesite casing. Lovely. Uh, but to get a little bit of iron in a bucket, because we don't have a bucket, we've got to use the hand crank a little bit, because we don't have any water yet. Now let's just put this here. Chuck the hand crank on it. And then you chuck gravel in it. Just like that. It's in there now. See? Hold shift and you can see it. 18 gravel. And then you turn this. You know, you could be helping. I am trying to get you out of here. <sighs> All that work's making me hungry. Did you at least bring any food with you? Or have I got to supply that too? <sighs> really? All right, there we go. We got everything we need, I guess. Let's uh, let's get a few bits of mini coal, and that can go straight in, and we can cook our iron. All right, and what do we need over here? We get our resources one, so we get a linking tool. That's going to be nice and handy for the future, but not right now. And I might smack it to get a bit of dust. There we go. Now we get our dust quest, so a little bit more dust. Hurrah! If you want to know how you get lava, it's nice and easy. It's just some sticks. Don't you know how to make fire? And let's get our iron. We make ourselves a bucket. There we go. And we chuck a few saplings into that. Then we got our bucket of water. And now we're going to be automated because we just need to throw that there. Now our wheels keep on us turning. So all we need is a gearbox. So let's find out how to make a gearbox so we don't have to keep using all this food. All right, gearbox. We need four of them in an andesite casing. Well, lucky for us, we got an andesite casing. All right, one, two, three, four, and one of you makes a gearbox. And then to make it go upwards, we just do it again. All right, now... No more of this, oh, I'm hungry, I can't work, bull stuff. All right, and now you just chuck a stack of this in, and you go do some stuff, and you come back later. Okay? All right? Now you go and watch it. Make sure it does what it's meant to. I'm going to do other stuff, all right? Jeez, I don't know. Keep doing weird stuff while I'm trying to work. All right, let's pick up our cauldron. There we go. We got a quest for that, too. And we get oh, some iron ore. Is that 32? Oh, look at that. We just got a bucket load of iron for free. Lovely. And we got to get lava next, so I'll show you how to do lava, okay? You just get those fire sticks I showed you, and you just rub it on the stick, rub it on there. Look at that. Boom. Yay! Lava. Ta-da. And we got... diamond chest for our troubles how easy is that i'm going to stick that bad boy right next to our crafting table because we are going to we're going to change the crafting tables and get the uh, tinkers ones up i guess okay let's get some sticks let's get some more planks we'll need a few more and you just put them in you cross them over like that and you got your patterns okay and then you use a pattern on there, and you're supposed to have more than that. So we'll get that. We'll chuck one more there. You put a pattern there. Bam. you got a crafting table. 
you do that and you got another one all right and then we need a couple more of them because you do this all right and you got your final one okay nice and easy now if you get rid of this you're silly because it keeps your inventory items whereas the other one doesn't i mean it's got the crafting the balance grid thingy whereas the other one doesn't and i like that but this crafting station can show you all the bits and pieces that you need from your chest see it's linked up inventory isn't that easier yeah i thought so all right we may as well try and get a cobble gen it's it's pretty easy but we'll need a little bit more wood so let's get that i guess yeah, all right, you can just go and sit down for a bit, all right? This isn't a two-person job. I'll just cut some trees, and you can just come back in a minute, all right? I'm in a hurry to get you out of here. I don't need you interfering. Now, hold still. Oh, look, another bee. Ooh, a bit of gold. Lovely. Now, yeah, what... You... That's going to be gone by the time I get up there, isn't it, you twat? Uh, uh, oh, that's a crystal chest. Awesome. Thank you, little loot bee. All right. What other rewards can we get to help? We've got a vile sword. Lovely. Guess that'll have to do. All right. Cobble gen. There we go. Now all we need to do is cook up a bit of stone. So you can go in there. All right. We need fans to make this go a lot quicker. So how do we get an encased fan? Andesite casings, shafts, and propellers. But to get the shafts, we need andesite alloy which is andesite and zinc or andesite and iron. Now, you get zinc from washing or crushing. I can't remember. Oh, crushing. So once some of these are finished, we can do that. And we've got plenty of andesite around the base still. Just destroying my lovely home for you guys. It's okay. I don't mind, I think. So we may as well do it with a few uh, iron nuggets to start with, and then we won't waste our iron, we'll waste the zinc, because we don't need it. But we'll get a little bit of this stuff. There we go, that should do it for now. But I'm going to have to dig to where I got this andesite from, because I'm starting to run out, and it's a long way down. Or up. Depending which way you go, but it's a long way, and I don't have to do it unless I have to. Yeah. No, they're my apples, get your own. Why should I share? You came here. You're not, I didn't bring you here. All right, fine, here. There, there, and a little piece of glass. There we go. Cobble gen. That's what you get when you have an extra one. All right, we need the fans. And so I need to make the propeller blades. So we need iron sheets and an andesite alloy. Iron sheets you get with an engineer's hammer, which you need a piece of string for. Lucky I've been letting the spiders hang around, ain't eh? All right, this one's easy to make as well. You get two like that, you get a bit of iron on either side, and then you put the string at the end to tie it all together. All right, and now we can smack iron flat. And we can get a few of these. Okay, simple. Yeah, I know, we got the... Yeah, okay. And then you just put these around like this, and around the andesite alloy, and you get a propeller. Okay? Now, if you do that with your casing and the shafts, you get that. How cool is that? All right. Now, I'm going to show you something really cool. If you put something like this here, and then you build up a little wall around it, all right. and then if I put... Uh, where are we? We've got a slab over here. I'll get that, and I'll get a bucket. And we'll throw a few of these saplings in there again. We'll get some water and watch what happens. All right. You pay attention to this, because you need to wash. I mean, you need to watch. All right, now you put a slab here, then you put a bucket of water there. Now look, that turns blue, all right? Now what does that mean? It means you can get in and have a tub because you smell. It means we can throw our gravel in here and we get different stuff, okay? Look, it's doing its thing, all right? Just have patience. Yay! And you go pick it up. We got lots of stuff. What do we get? Iron Nuggets, Lapis, we didn't get the coal, that was from the other thing. We got Emeralds, we got Sinbar, we got Flint, we we, we got, no, no, that was about it. Awesome, isn't it? So, we can even throw sand in. Alright, what did we get out of the sand? 
Gold. Copper. Uh, appetite. Nickel. Silver. Clay. Make hopping bonsais. All right, let's throw this in here as well. And what else have we got there and there? All right, now we just sit there and let that do its thing. All right, guess what we're going to have in a second? Apart from a whole heap of stuff to put away. We are going to have diamonds. All right, diamonds. That's going to be awesome to get into other stuff with now. But that should give us another reward. Ta-da, a redstone com com comparator. <sighs> just need to wash some dust now. I'm going to make a diamond hammer. That'll get us through everything a bit quicker, won't it? So that one's about to go bang. And we just throw it in the bin. Diamond wand, because that's going to make everything a lot quicker. And that is our goal for getting you out of here faster. All right, throwing the dust in. What do you reckon we're going to get out of that? It's the whitest, whitest thing ever. Nothing any of any colour could come out of that. Especially nothing like bright red. Well, what do you know? Redstone. And bone meal. And soda dust. And a few other bits and pieces. But we also need a lot more clay, so I kept half of that sand. All right, there we go. That should give us enough to make a few pots. All right, so you chuck a flower pot in the middle so you've got somewhere to grow. And then you make it so it's got a big outside edge, all right? Then you've got a botany pot. So that can grow trees, okay? It's big enough to grow trees in. But if you do something else with it, like chuck a little chest and a bit of iron through it where's our iron there it is and make one of these things and then put them together you get something that makes lots of lots of trees over and over again and we'll set up a couple of just normal chests down on the ground there for it all right that should have got us everything we needed. And speaking of everything we needed, sourceberries. Let's grow a few of these over here. Just don't go near them. But you can do this. Aha! Free food. Not you. Ow. Hey, stop it. Stop it. All right, that got us that quest done. And we get a laser wrench. Thank you for laser IO. What else did we get? We got the hammer, didn't we? Yeah, immersive engineering. So we got a hammer. We get andesite casings. Yay. And we get the manual. Awesome. That can go over here with the other stuff we won't be using right away. Uh, more four casings. Awesome. Unless I have to make. And what else did we get? In MISC, we got our wand. So, booyah! We, we got an upgraded Lexica Botanica. Okay. Thank you, I guess. No? Hmm. What else does the quest book want us to do to get you out of here? <sighs> Crushing wheels and soul sand. Crushing wheels aren't that bad to make, but you do need to set this up, and I don't feel like doing that right now. I'm getting a bit tired and hungry. So I guess it's looking into soul sand, hey? How do we do soul sand? Well, it's not too hard in this one. You, you see, you get sand, and you just put it this thing that's... The, no, just kidding. And you just wash it through the flame. But to get the flame, you need soul sand so we need to mix it with a mob soul some sand and some water so all we need to do is find a mob soul nice and easy do you have a soul can can ah, fine i won't take it but there's no one close by so you can build these guys diamond hammers and they dig a three by three by one they're pretty handy so when you want to dig little pathways and everything is that the doorway yeah. 
Let's do this. All right, that'll do. Something should spawn in there. I'll go back here and make a couple of torches and we'll see what happens. Here comes the fun. Well, he didn't have a soul. Oh, you... Okay, wasn't expecting them. Time for a little bit of armor. You are... Soul, look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, the rest of you can just, like, go to hell. Ha <laughs> ha, he shot you. Ha <laughs> ha, you missed. Ha uh ha, -huh, you missed again. Ow. Wasn't very nice. All right, I'll show you how do you do this, all right? And then I'm, I'm going to bed, okay? So what did we get out of that? We got the mob soul. And we got the, another lexical Britannica. So you've got a copy to read now. All right, so now we need a mixer, okay? So you paying attention? We need a basin, which is four andesite, five andesite alloys, all right? And use that with the mechanical mixer. So we need, same before, cogwheel, casing, but this time we need a whisk, which is another five plates and two of them, all right? Did you pay attention to that? Excellent. Because I don't want to have to repeat myself over and over again. We need more alloy. And we need more of these. We'll get a few. We're going to need them. All right, so two of them, and then our flat iron. All right, there's your whisk. Okay, did you pay attention to that? You, you didn't pay attention to the basin, did you? I swear it's not that hard. Keep up. And we're going to need the hand crank on this because that one won't spin it fast enough. But that's okay. We can do it by hand just this once. Oh, we still need to make the full whisk. My bad. There we go. Where's our hand crank? There. We don't need that attached just yet, so you put it one block above. And then we'll just grab this for a second. Chuck your hand crank on top. Like that. All right. And then get a bucket of water. Let's go get rid of this. Bucket of water. Bucket of water goes in. Mob soul goes in. Bit of sand goes in, like that, and then you crank it. And then it's done. And then what do you get? You get this stuff in the way. You, you take out that. Done. All right, done. We got our soul sand. So if I took that water away and put this under there and set it on fire then it's going to haunt things, and we get other stuff out of haunting things. More andesite casings. All right, we got our mechanical mixer. Yay, we get some dielectric casings. Nice, thank you. That'll come in handy in about three years. All right, I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm going to bed. You can find a place to sleep over there on the table or something. I don't know. My bed's around the corner. I'm going to sleep.